the worry. A nice warm up in the forecast here for the rest of the morning. By 10 a.m., we're in the low 70s here as winds pick up out of the west. By the afternoon, the middle 70s getting breezy. West winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. I think we'll top out our highs around 85 degrees at 5 o'clock here with, believe it or not, a cool down to talk about in mid May. We could be talking about the 40s, Ashley. Oh, wow, surprising, but yeah. yet a good day for all these outdoor events we've got going on. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great weather this afternoon. All right, thanks, Kevin. Well, happening right now on Good Morning Augusta, Richmond County deputies are looking for a shooting suspect. It happened around 11 last night on James Drive in Hepzibah. Dispatch says at least one person was shot, but there's no word on that person's condition. Investigators are looking for a man that frequents the Harrisburg area. You can count on News Channel 6 to keep you updated as we continue to follow this story. A South Carolina deputy is recovering after a shooting last night. Deputies say area law enforcement tried to arrest a man near the Lexington Saluda County line. Now, according to reports, when they approached, the suspect took off in a car and hit an unmarked sheriff's vehicle. That's when shots were exchanged. The suspect was shot and one deputy was injured. No word yet on how that deputy was injured, but he is expected to be okay. SLED is now investigating. And bond was denied for a man accused of murder a Florida priest. Stephen Murray was in a Burke County courtroom yesterday. Murray is accused of shooting and killing Father Rene Robert after the priest was discovered missing on April 10th. Investigators say that he shot Father Robert multiple times and dumped his body in a wooded area in Burke County. He's now in the Burke County Jail charged with malice murder. And in court yesterday, the prosecution revealed that the priest had been counseling Murray. Murray asked to borrow the priest's car, and the two drove to South Carolina. Now, supposedly to see Murray's two kids, but prosecutors say that Murray wasn't allowed to see the children. They say that's when he got angry, eventually putting Father Robert in the trunk and committing several robberies on the way to Burke County. Investigators say that's where he shot Robert several times in a wooded area. They then say investigators took him back to Florida where he was spotted by police. He led them on a chase and the car was later found in Aiken County. That's when he led investigators to the priest's body. No word on when Murray will return to court. Richmond County deputies are working to take illegal guns off the streets. During the first week of the Suns Out, Guns Out of the Wrong Hands program, 28 illegal guns were seized. Six of the weapons were stolen. 21 people have been arrested in connection to the illegal guns. Two people called into the sheriff's office and got the reward money for their tips. The sheriff's office has a goal of getting 500 illegal guns off the streets in 100 days. Aiken Public Safety is hosting an open house today. The event allows the public to meet officers, firefighters, even K-9 units. Everyone will also get to see equipment demonstrations and learn about child seat safety. It's from 10 until 2 at headquarters on Lawrence Street. The GBI and Georgia Lottery have teamed up to shut down four locations accused of breaking commercial gambling laws. They raided several businesses and one home in Warren County. Each was licensed to operate video game machines, but investigators say customers were receiving cash payouts for Credits One, which is illegal. In Georgia, credits may only be redeemed for lottery tickets or store merchandise. One of those arrested was in Tolliver County deputy who worked at one of the stores part time. Last night, family and friends remembered an Augusta toddler killed in an apartment fire. 18 year old Ariana Woods died after the building went up in flames on Wednesday. Witnesses say that the toddler was, excuse me, there was an explosion at the Magnolia Park apartments near Highland Avenue. Loved ones gathered to pay their respects for Ariana. Her aunt talked about the importance of the family at the vigil. Love y'all family. Because you never know. I wouldn't have never in a million years thought we'll be doing this in front of my sister's apartment. I just want y'all to know that it's real. The crowd also prayed for a speedy recovery for the 18 month old's mother, Yolanda Woods, who's still in the hospital for burns.
Turning now to the transgender bathroom debate leaking into schools. President Barack Obama has issued a directive saying that transgender students must be allowed to go to the restroom based on their gender they identify with. Several states are saying they'll go without billions of dollars in federal funding so they don't have to obey the new rule. We spoke to the Columbia County Superintendent who says parents have been calling for answers as well. We have restrooms that are for males and females, and then we do have some individual restrooms throughout the Greenbrier building that are open to students who have um, need, if they have a need to, for additional privacy, then those restrooms are available. Caraway says that the district would also have a meeting with any student who identifies as transgender and their parent. We reached out to Richmond County School System. It does say that the district has not had time to fully process that rule. South Carolina Congressman Joe Wilson will be in Aiken today. He plans to speak at the State Convention of Military Order at the Hilton Garden on Gate Drive. It's for the Organization of Combat Veterans awarded with Purple Heart. The servicemen and women were volunteers for other veterans. That starts at 12:30 today. And let's go ahead and look at some of the events happening this weekend. The Grovetown Summer Camp Expo is happening today. That starts at 10 this morning at Liberty Park Community Center. That's off Newmantown Road. The event helps parents learn more about summer programs for school-aged kids. There'll be concessions and bounce houses available. And the blacktop battle kicks off in Barnwell, South Carolina tonight. It begins at 5 at the Fuller Park Basketball Courts. Competing teams can only have people 15 and older. It is $70 per group, but admission is free. There is a $300 prize for the winning team. Food and drinks will also be available. Trinity Hospital is celebrating National Hospital Week today. The week celebrates the millions of workers dedicated to patient care across the country. The Medical Center will host a grand carnival as happening at 11 as they cut the ribbon for its new playground. Doors open at 10. Well, still ahead on Good Morning Augusta, safe and sound. One girl is being celebrated after she was reported missing from Tennessee. Find out where in the Palmetto State she was found when we come back. But first, to check with your forecast, Kevin. Well, we got a cool down to talk about, believe it or not. That tops today's weather headlines. Plus, plenty of sunshine this weekend, but unsettled weather for the work week details when Good Morning Augusta returns. Sunday, at a special time, 7 6 Central, she lost the love of her life. You don't have to go through this alone. Reigniting a hatred so strong. You're worried the evil queen is about to come out to play. There's no telling what. Deep down, the evil queen is who you are. Will happen next. What have you done? I destroyed magic. The breathtaking two hour season finale of Once Upon a Time. Sunday, starting at a special time, 7 6 Central on ABC. Prices are down, down, down. Even more prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most at Bilo, like Maxwell House Coffee. Now down and staying down at $7. Down, down prices. Crazy. Prices are down and staying down at Bilo. Look, this isn't easy for me either, but it just feels right. This isn't how we raised you. You never wanted to try it. Enough. You must have known I was a little different. Not this different. Start your own legacy with the power of infinity. Lease the Q50 for $349 a month at your local infinity retailer. Now at Rooms to Go, buy beautiful furniture, including the Cindy Crawford Home Collection, and really save. Plus, now you can finance interest-free for 60 months until June 2021. Five years from now, there's no interest adding up. No interest period for 60 months until June 2021. Get the perfect furniture for your home now through Memorial Day at Rooms to Go. John Blythe is tough on crime. He's firm but fair. He shares our values. He is committed to our community's future. He's one of us. John Flythe is a husband, a dad, and a trusted leader. John Flythe works to keep us safe. John Flythe is my choice. John Flythe is my choice. He's my choice. We can trust John Flythe as our Superior Court judge. On May 24th, vote John Flythe for Superior Court. 
Get ready for summer and sail away to the Caribbean or Mexico for a five-day, four-night cruise on us. Right now, lease a new 2016 Civic Sedan LX with automatic for only $179 a month. Get a new 2016 Honda Accord LX Sedan with automatic for only $199 a month. Lease a new 2016 Honda CRV LX two-wheel drive for only $229 a month. Get ready for summer now with a new Honda and a vacation from Gerald Jones Honda, 4022 Washington Road, or see us on the web at GeraldJonesHonda.com. Prices are down, down, down. Even more prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most at Bilo, like Maxwell House Coffee. Now down and staying down at $7. Down, down prices. prices are down and staying down at Bilo. Welcome back, everybody. It is 712. We're looking outside our, from our Jiffy Loop Skyview Network camera live at Washington Road. Very light traffic here on Washington Road. Lots of blue sky. The sun is up, although temperatures have a little ways to go here from the mid 50s at Bushfield. Same at Aiken, although we are at 60 degrees at Evans Town Center Park, but a lot of us in the CSRA in the middle 50s, even Swainsboro at 52 degrees this morning. You are by far the cool spot here. Fortunately, a much warmer golf forecast for your morning tee times. We're up to 70 degrees. Winds picking up west 5 to 10 miles per hour. A little bit breezy for the afternoon, but nice and warm and sunny. 84 degrees for your afternoon tee times. Ashley. A Tennessee girl was found safe and sound in South Carolina after she was discovered missing with her uncle. For eight days, her parents and volunteers searched tirelessly for the eight-year-old. Well, now her uncle is in custody on suicide watch. Home and its heart where it's meant to be. You know, I, was, I guess I was probably smiling ear to ear, as they say, or whatever. And, uh, and still I am, still have been. This is where all of us have wanted to see this little girl playing for the last week. If you weren't thinking about it, you and your friends were talking about it. It's such a small town that, you know, it was on everybody's prayers. You know, everyone was thinking about her. And praying for Carly, too, in traffic or in line for food. We all prayed for her to come home. And we're glad that she is home. He knows where she's at, even though we didn't. And uh, that he would just put his arms around her and uh, take care of her and uh, bring her home. Having Carly home, now proof in the power of prayer. I was at home uh, when I heard and, you know, I just thanked him right then. For days now, Rogersville has been holding on to faith and hope. Not a single soul ever giving up on this little girl. Well, our community's like that. They always stick together, you know, in good times and bad, and uh, I knew they would in this time, too. You know, it seemed like every day it was getting more and more intense trying to find her. Now a celebration is scheduled for Carly Trent today in her hometown. Well, flying on the edge, the daring dives this pilot made in order to make a living. We're going to take a closer look how up next. And right now it is 714. You're watching Good Morning Augusta, your only choice for local weekend morning news right here in the CSRA. Stay with us. I'm Jim Barksdale. I'm not a politician and I can prove it. I wear this hat. I'm an investment manager and I stood against the Wall Street crowd to protect my client's retirement. Now I'm running for the Senate to stand against the Washington crowd and their bad trade deals, wasteful spending, and mass incarceration. I approve this message because most of all, I'll stand against the crowd to ensure equal opportunities for all Americans. And I'll keep wearing this hat too. At Master, we understand when buying a pre-owned vehicle, you may have many questions. How much mileage does she get? Is it dependable? Is this a one owner? Is this your best price? At Master, we answer all your questions completely, and yes, we have the best price. And all come with a 90-day warranty. With our certified pre-owned vehicles, we guarantee you'll be happy with the price and your experience. Master Chevrolet Cadillac and Aiken, we are your pre-owned thumbs up dealer. Solve Specialty Polymers, the world's number one producer of specialty and high-performance polymers, is not only helping to impact the global chemical industry at large, but also is helping to shape future generations in our local community. Solve gives back by spending time with our students, making learning fun, and sparking interest in science. Bringing cutting-edge technology to the classroom and encouraging students to explore, learn, and discover. Solve, focusing on our future, focusing on doing what's right. 
Carolina Pottery welcomes you home for spring. From the front porch to the kitchen table, brighten your surroundings with fresh decor from the aisles of Carolina Pottery. Wreaths, ribbons, baskets, rugs, flags, pillows, all you will need to bring a little color into your home this season. Set a cheerful table with items from our dining section. Find a fabulous selection of wicker and Adirondack furniture for the deck and patio. Carolina Pottery, welcome home. Visit us in Augusta at 3830 Washington Road. My heroes work hard, all day, every day. My heroes wake up really early just to make me a delicious breakfast from scratch. And they make me dinner too. <laughs> and that's why my heroes are Bojangles Master Biscuit Makers. Head to Bojangles and try our hickory flavored smoked sausage biscuit for only 99 cents. Bojangles, it's bow time. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Welcome back, everybody, and check this out. I found out firsthand what it's like to fly upside down thanks to one local stunt pilot who is in Lincolnton, Georgia. He took me up. This is his MX2 stunt plane where we did all sorts of loops, high-speed passes, even... That's right, flying upside down. The pilot's name is Gary Ward, and he regularly flies with some of the biggest names in acrobatic flight demonstration. John Lynn will bring us his story coming up in your hometown right after my local forecast. Speaking of which, beautiful this morning. Jiffy Loop Skyview Network camera live at Television Park here. Plenty of blue skies. Sunshine is up. Traffic light and flowing smoothly on Bobby Jones Expressway. Temperatures right now at Augusta Regional Airport, 55 degrees. A little bit chilly across the CSRA. Same temperature, Waynesboro, also Aiken and Saluda, 57 degrees. Edgefield, lower 60s from Barmel to Allendale, but down to the low 50s if you're waking up this morning in Swainsboro. But not to worry, we got a nice warm up in store for us here. In fact, by the time we get to the afternoon, upper 70s at 1 p.m., low 80s by 3, and I think we'll top it out at 85 degrees around 5 o'clock this afternoon. Notice, though, a little bit breezy. West winds 5 to 15 miles per hour, but at least, aside from a little bit of breezy conditions, it will feel a little bit comfortable outside. It is dry. That is also why we still see our these pollen counts there in. We're going to see moderate levels at least for the next couple of days, although they should get a little bit lower on Tuesday as we start to introduce greater chances of, of rain in the CSR. But until we get to see more moisture in the, in the central Savannah River area, we're just going to see a whole lot of this on WJBF Live Viper 6 radar, which is nothing. There's no showers, no rain to talk about across the entire two state once again this weekend. Not a bad start here. Got another reinforcing cold front that'll bring us another shot of cold air uh, by tonight. But fortunately, what's coming behind that and what's also ahead of it is high pressure. So no rain at all with this cold front that is getting ready to pass through the two state as we speak. It'll arrive later on this afternoon here. So despite that, again, lots of sunshine here, high pressure moving to the southwest. Another area of high pressure well to the northwest, which will be coming in to the southeast overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. It'll be rather chilly thanks to this high pressure system. We're talking temperatures in the low 50s, but at least we'll see plenty of sunshine for tomorrow, 5 p.m. A little bit cooler to, uh, tomorrow than today, but still nice. We'll see plenty of sunshine here and then that area of high pressure moving to the east. So Monday, 7 a.m. could be an unusually chilly morning here with temperatures possibly dipping into the 40s. Can't believe we're talking about that in mid-May, but it is possible Monday morning. Recapping this afternoon's high, we got 85 degrees, plenty of sunshine. It'll be windy, but nice and warm. For tonight, 50 degrees, chilly. And keep in mind, tonight's average temperature, 56 degrees. So six degrees below that, but after a bit of a cool down in our Live Viper six day forecast, we do have a bit of a warm up for you. 78 though on Monday after a low of 47. Then mid 80s on Tuesday, upper 80s Wednesday, more moisture. Could mean a few afternoon pop up thunderstorms, and we could see the wet weather stick around through Thursday. Highs in the low 80s. We do need a little bit of rain, so a little bit of rain is not such a bad thing. We'll just keep an eye on the possibility of those afternoon thunderstorms. It's nice to see those, that cool weather coming back. You yeah, know? in mid May. It's yeah. hard to believe, but it's, it'll, be, it'll feel great. I know. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah, Gotta I'm, say, I'm I loved your video, that and you should be excited. Augusta awesome. loves ear shows like the Bow Shears and the one local stunt pilot has been doing it for years that you just met that he introduced oh, yeah. you to. That's right. Uh, John Lynn, he'll uh, fly us there in this week's edition 
of your hometown stories. Lincolnton, Georgia in Lincoln County is home to a little over 1,500 residents, also an international airport, and one of the oldest stunt pilots in the United States. My name is Gary Ward, and uh, uh, I've lived in Lincoln County uh, since I was born, essentially. I've been out and about uh, different places, but this has always been home base. Gary developed an interest in airplanes as an early teenager by a chance encounter with an Air Force pilot. A local guy, probably in the early 50s, I was probably 12 years old, and he was flying in the Air Force, and he buzzed this town. He put on an air show for us, and I think that lit the fire in me. Ward saved his money, then took lessons at Augusta at Daniel Field, and then soloed at age 16 in a Piper J3 Cup, and has been passionate about aviation ever since. After high school and a tour with the U.S. Air Force as a jet engine mechanic, Gurry graduated from Georgia Tech with a degree in aerospace engineering. He also worked as a design engineer on the Cessna Citation for Cessna for about a year before switching hats to work in a family-operated lumber business. But Gary could not get the flying bug out of his system. He bought a Pitts airplane, took to the skies, and taught himself aerobatics. After a few years, a friend said he should be flying and showing off his stunts at air shows, and Gary was hooked. I flew my first air show in 1998, Wilson, North Carolina, and now that lit the fire. When I land, everybody's clapping, you know. I said, oh, man, this is cool. <laughs> Ward pilots a MX-2 aerobatic aircraft worth over a half a million dollars, a carbon fiber gem with a top speed at over 200 miles an hour. Gary has done over 200 air shows and loves every minute of it. It's what the crowd likes. They want to see, they want to see me up close making a lot of noise and a lot of smoke and they may not care, you know, about, oh, that's a cool technical maneuver. They want to see this airplane going by making noise and smoke. Ward is 74 years old, has a need for speed, and has no plans on stopping anytime soon. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still just amazed that I can hop in my little airplane and fly to Cozumel and, and go places out west. Uh, it's, it's like my time machine. In the skies in Lincoln County, for your hometown stories, I'm John Lynn, WJBF News Channel 6. Uh, Gary will also be in the Shaw Air Expo, Thunder Over the Midlands, mm -hmm. next Saturday and Sunday, the 21st and the 22nd at Shaw Air Force Base. Admission is free. Go out and see this guy. He is the real deal. And he oh, took yeah. me up in his aircraft for my first stunt flight, which is at the top of the bucket list. I, I was here you. when you came in. He came in back from this. I'm talking about his face and his eyes were I'm, like, <gasps> There's no. he was amazed. I mean, we did all those maneuvers you see, because uh, he did two flights. He did a solo flight where he did some pretty aggressive maneuvers, and then he took mm -hmm. me up, and after some of the easy stuff, he did show me some of those aggressive maneuvers, and it was awesome. And small world, a little, yeah. little story here. Um, when I was 15 years old, uh, he was at the Fort Lauderdale Air and Sea Show, and I saw him. So who would have wow. thought 11 years later, little uh -huh. old me from South Florida would come up, meet him, and go to his home and fly in his airplane. He is the real deal. Go watch Gary Ward this week. Oh, you're so lucky. All right, well, a Massachusetts prom was heating up, but these teens hadn't even arrived yet. How their hot ride went up in flames. Coming up next and caught on camera. Hey, man, who do you think Captain D was? Captain D was actually regional semi-pro hockey captain Doug LaCour. Fueled by his voracious love of seafood, Doug would punch holes in the ice with his bare hands for a mid-practice snack. Hey! You're full of it. He sure is, Paul. Full of Captain D's Southern-style whitefish, topped with a special blend of Nashville hot seasonings for our Nashville hot fish. For full meals at just $4.99, it's gotta be D's. You can get a good car this summer, or you can drive the best. That's a Honda. The best value brand with great summer savings. Drive the 33 mile per gallon Honda CRV, now just $219 a month. 33 miles per gallon with an SUV. Accords only $189 a month. The car and driver 10 best for a record 30 times. No other car has ever done that. When you can get the best this summer, why settle for less than a Honda? Visit your Augusta Aiken Honda dealer today and see why people are calling this the year of Honda. The Giving Your Best Award salutes volunteers in the CSRA for going above and beyond in our community. 
The Giving Your Best Partners congratulate our May winner, Betty Elliott, a woman with a passion for her community and for books. Through her hard work with the Columbia County Library, many lives are enriched by its programs and community outreach activities. Congratulations from your Giving Your Best Partners, Walton Foundation for Independence, Solvay Specialty Polymers, Georgia Bank and Trust, and WJBF News Channel 6. With the arrival of summer heat comes every family's worst nightmare, the tidy whitey epidemic. Tidy whiteys stop the epidemic with Spartan's 89.99 cooling system tune-up. Spartan heating and air conditioning. Re-elect Steve Smith Marshall. As your marshal, the most important lesson I've learned is to take care of people. That's what my agency and I do every day. We do this by securing our city buildings and the people who use them, handle court processes with compassion and understanding, and enforce the law with honesty and fairness. We also mentor our youth through school programs. I've held this office for 28 years with integrity and respect, and with your vote, we can continue for the next four years. Welcome back, everybody. 728. You're taking a live look at our Jiffy Lube Skyview Network camera at Augusta University Health down Walton Way. Some light traffic, blue skies, everything looking good this morning. A little bit on the chilly side, but nice and warm by 5 o'clock. 85 degrees, a little bit breezy, but we'll see lots of sunshine, Ashley. Looking beautiful out there. Time now to take a look at caught on camera. Prom is always a big night for high school students. Do you remember? Well, I remember. You didn't go to prom. <laughs> no, they wanted 90 <laughs> but this, bucks. Yeah, but this one turned out to be one that they would remember for another reason. Yeah, uh, these 10 kids were about to head off to the big dance when their limo caught on fire. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they were getting inside to leave when it just burst into flames. Yikes. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, well parents and drivers say that they're grateful that nobody was hurt and you can see that that is just remarkable. Yeah, nobody's yeah. hurt, everybody's okay. Yeah, uh, still no word on how that fire got started though. Yeah, that's one hot vehicle, yikes. Woo, well we are working on several news stories for the next half hour of Good Morning Augusta, including George Zimmerman selling the gun he says he used to kill Trayvon Martin. How the gun community and the world is responding when Good Morning Augusta continues. Is your internet fast enough? Today's the day we find out with a download race. Watch this. Fingers at the ready. Go. And they're off. Well, one of them is. Xfinity delivers speeds way faster than DSL. You sure you guys started at the same time? Well, there you have it. But don't take my word for it. Take the Xfinity X1 Challenge. Visit Xfinity.com slash challenge now and see how your service stacks up. Or get started with Xfinity Internet risk-free for as low as $19.99 a month for 12 months. Call or go online. My time is precious to me, and I don't want to spend it talking to a computer about car insurance. That's why I love Georgia Farm Bureau. I can just call and talk to my agent directly. Their agents care about the same things I do because they're from here. I like that. They're 100% owned by Georgia policyholders. With competitive rates and lots of coverage options, chances are they have a policy just for you. Let us grow your trust. Georgia Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. We're proud to now be Augusta's only locally owned and operated community bank. We have served and grown with you for over 25 years. And we will continue to provide award-winning service, financial advice, and great products that you've come to know and expect for generations to come. When other banks' names change, you can count on us to remain committed to our community. We're Georgia Bank & Trust. Doing the right thing. Accidents happen, but what if you could turn back the clock? At Kelly Paint and Body in Aiken, you can. Your car will look even better than before. You'll get high quality automotive repair and superior customer service every time. Come see why we're known for honesty, integrity, and a lifetime guarantee. Kelly Paint and Body, like it never happened. 866 York Street in Aiken or on the web at kellypaintandbody.com. I could get used to this. I could get used to this. 
the luxuriously transformed 2016 Lexus ES and ES Hybrid. I can get used to this. Once you experience this level of luxury, I can get used to this. There's no going back. Lease the 2016 ES350 for $329 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. Get the latest on all things local every Friday at 12.30 on The Dish. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. Good morning and welcome back to Good Morning Augusta. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Ashley Campbell. And I'm Kevin Nye. What a nice morning to start mm -hmm. off our weekend uh, once again. A little bit cool, but warmer. By the that's, that's true. If you got outdoor plans, definitely good weather for that. Oh, yeah. Especially Greek Fest. We got that going on. I know. Lots of stuff going on outside here. Let's get you started with our Jeffy Lube Skyview Network camera li uh, live right now at News Talk WGAC here on Jimmy Dye's Parkway. Traffic flowing smoothly. The Skies are blue. Temperatures have a little ways to go right now. 55 degrees at Bushfield and Aiken and 60 degrees right now. Evans Town Center Park light breezes here across the metro waking up in the 60s in Martinez, North Augusta, Appling and also up at the lake. But the 50s down in McBean, Jackson, New Wellington, Windsor and even Wrens right now. 54 degrees in Swainsboro. That's about as cool as it gets. 55 degrees right now. Saluda. To the lower 60s in Washington across uh, Wilkes County and 61 degrees. Barnwell, Bamberg and Allendale. A nice afternoon at the lake if your plans take you there. 83 degrees for a high. Plenty of sunshine. Bit breezy. West winds 10 to 15 knots, but great swimming weather. Just don't forget to wear your life jacket. Believe it or not, got a cool down to talk about in the forecast. Plus, some unsettled weather here. Uh, for the middle of the next work week. We'll let you know when we'll, and what we'll see coming up in a few minutes. All right, cool down. Sounds good to me, Kevin. Yeah. All right, well, coverage you can count on continues with today's headlines. Richmond County deputies are looking for a shooting suspect. It happened around 11 last night on James Drive in Hepzibah. Dispatch says at least one person was shot, but there's no word on that person's condition. Investigators are looking for a man that frequents the Harrisburg area. Aiken Public Safety is hosting an open house today. That event allows the public to meet officers, firefighters, and K-9 units. Everyone will also get to see equipment demonstrations and learn about more about child safety seats. It is from 10 until 2 at the headquarters on Lawrence Street. A Columbia University student is missing this morning. The New York City police started looking for 16-year-old Nyla Kidd. She was last seen on the campus on May 5th. There's no word on any leads in the case just yet. Officers say if you have any information about where she may be, you're asked to contact the police department. Two South Carolina high school students are facing charges after a teen shot himself by accident. Greenville County schools say a 17-year-old is being charged as an adult for having a pistol on school grounds. Educated education leaders say that the boy had the gun on Friday in the cafeteria but did not fire it. Police believe it went off accidentally. Another student was shot but has non-life-threatening injuries. That person will face the same charges only as a juvenile. A second website may stop George Zimmerman's attempt to sell the gun he says he used to kill Trayvon Martin. Zimmerman shot and killed the unarmed Florida teen in 2012. He was tried and acquitted of murder charges. The first site where Zimmerman posted the gun said it rejected the idea and took down the page. Zimmerman moved the auction to United Gun Group site. Then the site said that the gun would not be sold there either. At last check, the auction page still has the gun up on its site. It's like he is shooting and killing Trayvon all over again four years later with this attempt to auction off this gun like it's some kind of trophy. I mean, it's offensive. Several fake or trolling bids have been placed with a current hoax bid priced at $66 million. And straight ahead on Good Morning Augusta, firefighters want to help keep you safe this summer, where you can go to learn more about regulations when we come back. Plus, a cooler weather pattern in the forecast. That tops today's weather headlines. Plus, we'll see lots of weekend sunshine, but thunderstorms possible for the upcoming work week. We'll let you know when. We'll see you when Good Morning Augusta returns.
The WJBF Live Viper 6 Skyview Network brought to you by Jiffy Lube. Leave worry behind. Restaurants are routinely inspected for cleanliness and proper food prep. But what if a health inspector tested your home? Would your kitchen pass? We see lots of potentially hazardous foods. Kitchen safety, Monday at 11 on News Channel 6. We wanted to prove the value of Nissan's Intelligent Safety Shield technologies. Hey, you want to go for a ride? So we enlisted some everyday experts. I'm a firefighter. I'm a nurse. With rear cross traffic alert. It worked. Blind spot warning. Ooh. And forward emergency braking that could stop your car for you. Get to Nissan's Safety Today event. And for a limited time, save up to $1,500 on select models. We might be out of a job. <laughs> Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com today. Judge Carl Brown represents our entire community. He brings dignity, honor, and respect to the judicial system. Judge Brown is always prepared. He's compassionate, and he's strong when he needs to be. He is honest and very fair. He treats everybody in his court with dignity and respect. He is absolutely dedicated to this community. I know what this judicial system needs, and that is a judge just like Carl Brown. I'm Carl Brown, running for Judge of Superior Court. I really need your vote on May 24th. Technical College. Summer classes start May 16th. Register now. Celebrate spring now at Gerald Jones Subaru with savings on a new 2016 Subaru Impreza 2.0i. Priced at only $155 a month. Get a 2016 Subaru Forester 2.5i priced at $239 a month. Or lease a 2016 Subaru Outback 2.5i with automatic for only $269 a month. See for yourself why so many people love a Subaru and maintain the love with complimentary maintenance included on all new Subarus from Gerald Jones Subaru or on the web at GeraldJonesSubaru.com. And welcome back, everybody. Coming up on 739. Time for your GMA weather question of the day. Here goes true or false. On a hot day, an aircraft would require less distance to take off compared to a cold day. Is that a true statement or a false one? Think about it. The answer coming your way at the end of your full local forecast in about five to seven minutes. Ashley? Thanks, Kevin. Well, school is ending, and it's a great time for your child to learn safety measures that could come in handy over the summer. We've got Don Clark here with the Greater Augusta Partnership here to talk with us about the Summer Safety Festival. Thank you for joining us this early in the morning, waking yeah. up. Thank you for all. <laughs> having me. All right, well, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the summer safety uh, when it comes to children and teens now that school is coming to a close. Right. Why is summer safety so important? Well, of course, you know, we want to make sure that the community members, especially our younger ones, uh, mm -hmm. understand the importance about, you know, safety, especially when they're engaging in the leisurely activities and everything. Sure. And that's the purpose of the uh, Summer Safety uh, Festival. Okay. And exactly, um, tell me a little bit more about the Summer Safety Festival. What can people learn? What can the te teens learn? Yeah, so there's multi, there's multi levels uh, with this, mm -hmm. and, and that's the great thing about it. Uh, Although we're going to be teaching the uh, kids safety and everything like that, mm -hmm. uh, we also have the opportunity to just have an event where we can bring community members together to fellowship and, and you know enjoy a positive environment and everything. But the, the, the uh, cherry on top of the cake is mm -hmm. celebrating the efforts of the firemen, the sheriff's office, you know those officials that are out there helping us and protecting us um, on a day-to-day -day basis. And we're going to be showcasing their efforts. Oh, sure. And what a great way to bring children and law enforcement and, you know, other, you know, firefighters like that together. Exactly. Um, now, you know, what time does this start? Because I understand it's next Saturday. It is. It's next Saturday from 12 to 4. Uh, and it'll be at the uh, Fire Department's Administration Building, their headquarters, which is on Dean's Bridge, directly mm -hmm. across the street from the Kroger right there on Dean's Bridge. Okay, yeah, I've been mm -hmm. there before. And is this something that you do every summer or every year? Well, this is the first year that we're actually conducting this. Um, but, you know, we've, we've caught momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, our first event was in November. We did the uh, Fall Safety Festival sure. at Daniel Field. And now we've added the uh, Summer Safety Festival. So all the events that we're creating, we're creating them so they can be annual events. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, we're giving ourselves the room to be able to grow 
and make them bigger. But it'll be something that the community can look forward to every year. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, obviously there's a need if you're having to go and do the summer event. How was the fall? What was the feedback that you got? You know, the fall event was really, it was humbling and it was overwhelming at the same time. Oh, really? That was our very first event. Um, mm -hmm. And again, just like this event, it, it started with me collaborating with one other individual and it grew. Mm -hmm. um, and that grew into us pretty much taking over a good portion of Daniel Field. But uh, we ended up bringing about 500 uh, plus community members out to the event. Wow, that yeah. is impressive, oh, yeah. Don. All right, well, we want to thank you for stopping by again. That's going to be next Saturday at the fire, um, firefighter fire station headquarters on Danger Bridge Road right. right there. And you can see all of that information on our graphic right there on your screen. And we'll also have that posted on our website, WJBF.com. All right, well, thank you so much, Don. Thank Pleasure you. having you with us this right, morning. And up next, the Reese's Cup, we all know for its creamy peanut butter, is getting a makeover. But you won't be able to see the change from the outside. We're going to explain the new ingredients just ahead.